Hey everyone, this is Sanjay from Aston AI. In this video, we are going to see how to automate Instagram Reels. So the automation starts with the Google Drive trigger. So you'll be uploading the videos to Google Drive. So according to the time we have set, the automation starts itself and then post it with the certain uh, captions we have set according to the video. So let's see how this works. Okay, this is how the automation works. So it starts with the Google Drive trigger. So we have connected a Google Drive. Uh, so let's so let's de delete this for instance. I have set this. So what I have d done is I have set this to post on morning 9 a.m. one time and then uh, night 9 p.m. another time. So for now we we'll just uh, delete those so that it will uh, trigger instantly. Mm, uh, I have set it to a specific folder. Uh, I'll show you right now. Yeah, so this is the folder I have set it for it. Demo video for perfume brands. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the drive I have set it for the automation. You can see demo video for perfume brands and this is the same drive I have given here. So yeah, I have uh, connected Google Drive with this and then download those videos which uh, come through this automation and then it goes to the node for uh, write to disk. So what we are doing uh, here uh, exactly is we can't just directly post the video to uh, Instagram. We should uh, push this video to a local that is NATN's local disk and then get the video so that it will get the video as .mp4 otherwise we can't get as .mp4. So Google actually gives the uh, gives us the link as you know um, view equal to sharing which which really means that Google will uh, have an attachment with the video so that when we try to post the video we can't really post it. So we, ha we have to detach the video from Google Drive by doing this uh, you know local uh, sa saving the video to the local so that we will get a, you know detached video with the extension .mp4. So after that we will just proceed as normal as, uh, as normal. So after writing uh, the writing the file to disk, so you can see I'll open the node. You can see this uh, is temporary video dot mp4. This is the path we are giving, and the name is uh, data. And then, so this code, this node is completely important. Why? Because what we are doing in this node is, as we said, we are, this node completely does uh, writing the node, and also asks the uh, local to get the node. So basically, we are writing the node uh, which means that uploading the video to the local the local space and then uh, instantly getting the file from the local. So the getting the file from the local is done by this webhook and response. So yeah, so this is the basic thing which is uh, which that does the coding does is and then after that we are going to a AI agent. This AI agent what uh, this does is simply take our video it take a look at the video how it uh, looks and then generates a, a caption specifically for it. So that's the uh, caption generation is also automated. So and then we have set it for uh, add table so that we can log into it and see what are the videos we have posted and all those details. So we have set an add table and then it come and then comes the Facebook container. So. Um, if you if you have uh, done posting uh, automating uh, your post or maybe Facebook you you have known it, so we can't directly post this video directly into the uh, Facebook or Instagram. So you you may say, uh, hey Sanjay, we are posting on Instagram. Why do you have these Facebook notes? So we we can't directly post to Instagram. Anything doesn't have any specific notes as uh, to Instagram. We first we will first connect the Instagram. To the meta so basically you should have either a, I think the business account in Instagram and then connect those uh, connect that Instagram to a Facebook account and you should have a specific page on Facebook account so this is how it connects uh, with Facebook and we'll be uploading the video through Facebook which means you won't uh, have the videos on Facebook but still you will have you will get the APS from the Facebook so the node looks like this mm. so yeah so the container 
is something that um, what it does is it it creates a container. So basically, the video or uh, the Facebook creates a container, and the video gets into the container, and then we should we should push this container into the Instagram. So this is how it works. So this container is used to create a container, and then we are pushing it into the pushing the video into this container. So yeah, basically the this kind of Facebook node does the job, and then after soon after it uh, pushes the video into container, we are going to wait for uh, like four minutes, because as this is a we have set the waiting for four minutes, uh, maybe the image pose would take something like one minute, probably actually it, it it would complete in seconds, but let's say it would take one to one point five minute, one point fifteen. Uh, minutes, but as this is a video, we should set it for like uh, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, so that it will take time to upload the video into the Instagram. And then after we have uh, created the container, we're just posting the video. Sorry, posting the file to Instagram, and then waiting for a few seconds, and then deleting the video in the Google Drive because we don't want. We'll be uploading so much videos daily. We don't want all that to save on Google Drive and you know expand the storage. So soon after the uh, automation posts the video into Instagram, the Google Drive automatically deletes that video in the Google Drive. So this is all the automation works. I'll show. I'll instantly show you a demo right now. First, we should unpin this. Okay. Unpin this. Okay, okay. File created. Yeah. So we'll go to executions. I'm gonna post a video. I'm gonna input a video. I'll upload. Yeah. So for now, I'm just giving a, a countdown video. So yeah, video is uploaded here. The automation, the automation is triggered. Sorry, sorry. It is not yet triggered. Wait, let's see. It takes few seconds to recognize the video. Wait, did I just switch on? Yeah, it is on. Go here. Yeah. So yeah, it just takes few seconds because it should up upload into Google Drive completely. So the automation is running. You can see right now. Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, it it went all through and it is waiting right now. And also, wait. Uh, I'll show you the. I show, I'll explain you what is happening right now. Yeah, so this waiting execution, what it does is, so this is the two nodes which is executed right now. These are the, these are all the past executions. Uh, so this node, what it does is, it, it went through all these nodes and is waiting for four minutes. So it's wait, showing us showing it as waiting. And this execution is the the second workflow which in the same automation. So the second web book and the writing, sorry, reading the file and yeah, so this second workflow that that has executed completely successfully, and the first workflow is uh, on waiting. So I have set to four minutes. We'll wait four minutes and then check our Instagram page. Okay, and I'm going to cheat you by cutting down and showing the directly in Instagram page. So this executed at 17:09 and the time is 17:10. So four minutes means 17:13. Okay. I'll cut this. Uh, I'll cut the video and come back at 17, 17, uh, which time? 17, 12. Yeah, 17, 13. It would upload. I'll I'll come back at 17, 12. Okay. Okay. The time is 17, 12 right now. The node is waiting. We'll just go to the our Instagram page. Yeah, so this is the Instagram page which I have connected to it. 
So as I said, the video is kind of a countdown video. It just counts to one to ten. And also, the, the video is in a different format. Let's see how it goes. Because these are the video with 16 is to 9 ratio. 16 is to 9 or 9 is to 16. So, but right now I gave a video with, uh, you can see here with a, you know, different, uh, different uh, format. I think the video should upload right now. So right now, you can see here there is no any other video. 